driven.co. Today, another incredible offering by driven.co. We have a fantastic, gorgeous 1951 MG TD. This is a special car. It's not exactly what you might expect. Everything is 1951. Everything is back in the day. Everything looks exactly as it should be because it is. But the incredible about part about this car is not the way it looks. The incredible part about this car is the way it drives. This car was restored 30 years ago and it was uh, from an upstate, upscale beach city here in California. So it's been a California car for a long time. And it was restored and when it was, the idea was to make an MG TD, which is a notoriously horrible driving car. I mean, it's terribly underpowered, notchy non-synchro transmission, top speed of 40 miles an hour and then straining and just a bear to drive. Well, the owner of this car wanted all the classic aspects of a TD. They wanted all the look and feel that you get from a old British car, but they wanted to be able to drive it on the highway. They wanted to be able to enjoy it. They wanted to be able to take it in traffic if need be. They wanted to be able to take it and, you know, if you're in a, in a traffic jam, not worry about it overheating. They wanted something that you could get in the fast lane on the freeway or pass somebody. And you simply can't do that with a normal MGTD. So what they did is they transplanted a modern day Volvo four cylinder engine and transmission. They put an upgraded MGA rear end with better brakes, better gearing. They changed over to rack and pinion front steering. They did a number of upgrades to the car which made it so wonderfully drivable and left all the feel and character just as it was for 1951. The firewall was not cut when they put the engine in. It was an expert install. The vehicle was frame off restored. The frame is painted. Underneath the car is just as nice as it is up above. It's a beautiful, amazing, and fabulous driving car. It really is a blast to drive. It takes what used to be a tedious driving experience to enjoy one of these cars and turn it into a joy, almost to the point where it's almost like an everyday driver. We have the original MG spoke wheels, the chrome, the stainless grill, the bumpers. It's got red welting, original wipers. It's got a beautiful Moro Lita wood steering wheel. VDO gauges. Stuart Warner gauges in it. Modern day, well, I don't know how modern day a cassette is, but it's got a digital stereo. It's got ownership history for about the last 30 years with the car. It was loved, cared for, and since the restoration about 30 years ago, here's the mileage. 7748, less than 8,000 miles since a total frame off restoration on this car. It's held up well, but it's been used. It, it does have a lot of, of little paint imperfections and chips on it, but as you can see, it presents absolutely wonderfully. So it's been a car that's been used, it's been a car that's been loved, it's been a car that's been driven, and it's been a car that's been cared for for over 30 years in this family. Underneath, clean, clean, clean. 
frame's been painted white. All the suspension's detailed. You can see that the restoration was done a while ago, but it was done to a high standard at that point in time. Here's the rack and pinion steering conversion. There's no rest on this car anywhere that we can see. Just a caring, older restoration. Getting underneath the wheel wells. Nicely detailed. Just a beautiful car. There's no rest on this car anywhere that we can see. Just a caring, older restoration. Chrome is generally nice, but not without its imperfections. Like I said, the car was a 30-year-old restoration, so you can expect some wear and tear on it. Let's take a look at the engine. Got a Volvo B18 engine, little four-cylinder, perfectly suited to this car. You can see there's been no modifications to the frame. It's just a beautiful conversion. Steering's been done well. The originality is here, but we've got all the uh, um, good things that you'd want on a driving car. The side of the engine bay equally as nice. I believe we have Weber carburation. Volvo powertrain even retains the generator. It's a 12 volt system conversion. So all the modern day conveniences and stereos and things like that run off a superior 12 volt system rather than the original 6 volt system. Interior vinyl. Carpets. Decent shape, little fading. Top does have a couple of rips in it. It's probably repairable, but it's cheap enough just to get another one. If that's something you'd like, but I don't know who drives these cars with the top up. So we have a, a, a lovely vehicle. We submit to you this, if you really want to drive a car, if you're an enthusiast, you don't want to just have it sitting in your garage. You want to enjoy it. You want to be able to get in confidence on the freeways and go through traffic, not be concerned about anything. If you want a car, you could just turn the key and go and not worry about a thing. This is one of the few options you have that allows you to do exactly that. I invite you and strongly urge that you come and take a test drive. If you do, you will be sold. This is a wonderful car. It's also got an aftermarket heat heater in it. So please come down and test drive it. You will love this vehicle. I don't have any doubts about it. Um, it's it's a, a super, super car. Difficult to find one that'll do the same thing that this one will. Certainly superior to any normal MG TD in every fashion. So if you've got some questions, give us a buzz, driven.co. My name's Tomo. You can reach me at 562-714-2986, and you could be the one sitting in the driver's seat. Thanks so much. Here's a shot of the car with the rain gear on it. It's really in perfect shape, with the exception of the top, as we pointed out. Tear there. Snap coming out here. Tiny bit of dirt. Rear window's in great shape. 
side curtains as I said excellent and then you've got this tear here which is from folding the top incorrectly we'll try and see if we can get those fixed if not we can purchase this top We found these side curtains here in the stowage box in the back. 